What is going on everybody? TJ here with Daily Grind Fantasy Sports. I hope you all are enjoying your Sunday so far. I'm sure it's a Sunday filled with football, probably on your couch. And that is, I mean, how else do you want to spend your Sunday? But guys, I got a really special video for you today. In today's video, I am going to be giving you guys a six flex slip over on prize picks for tonight's Sunday night football game between the Cowboys and the Eagles. We have what should be a fantastic Sunday night football matchup. We get the Cowboys at home who are currently 6-0 on the year. And we have the Eagles coming off of an absolutely brutal loss last weekend to the 49ers where they lost 42-19 to at home. So obviously heading to Dallas, trying to right the ship, get back on track. Right now, Dallas three and a half point favorites at home over under currently sitting somewhere between 51 to 52 points. So we should see a lot of offense and it should be close and competitive. And speaking of that, that actually leads to my first play in our six flex slip over on prize picks. It's going to be that's good. Dak Prescott over two passing touchdowns. You guys, I'm going to tell you why I like this play along with jumping into the rest of our six flex slip. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, guys. So I've pulled up prize picks. I've added in Dak Prescott over two passing touchdowns. And my second favorite play in this correlation slip or the second play that we're going to be putting in this six flex correlation slip is going to be Jalen Hurts over 255.5 passing yards. Now, before we go any further, I do just want to explain to you guys prize picks for anybody unfamiliar with their app. They are a fixed payout platform. So what that means is that they have set payouts on their slip types. So it doesn't matter if we're taking more or less on a specific player's projection, our payout will always remain the same in these slips. Now, yes, in some cases, they do alter your payout like they do on sports books, but in 98% of them, you get the same payout that you're going to get whether you're taking the over or the under. Your payout doesn't change. It's not altered. And you guys will see here right now, we have Dak and Jalen Hurts both more on their player prop projections. And in a two-man power, we always get a three times return over on prize picks. It doesn't matter if I take them both less and less. doesn't matter if I put Dak more, Jalen Hurts less, or Jalen Hurts more and Dak less. I'm still going to get two for two, gets me a three times payout in 98% of cases. Now, the reason this is really important and why we want to be correlating slips over on a fixed payout platform like Prize Picks, opposed to you know a traditional sports book like FanDuel or like DraftKings, is because those sports books are going to alter our payout. They make us throw these plays into a same game parlay where they're actually taking into consideration our correlation. And for anybody unaware, all correlation really means is just outcomes that are more likely to occur together. So if Dak's going to go out and throw for two passing touchdowns, if he ends up with four, that means the Cowboys are putting a lot of points on the board. So in return, that obviously means that the Eagles are going to have to try to keep up with the Cowboys putting points on the board, which would result in Jalen Hurts throwing more and the Eagles offense not rushing as much. So when we're correlating over on these sports books like FanDuel and DraftKings and we're trying to get cheeky and same game parlay, they take that into consideration. They alter your payout and it's pretty significant. Because when it comes to sports books, you obviously have an American odd attached to the over and the under. So one prop is more likely to occur than another prop, unless it's an exact even line at minus 110 on each side. So in most cases, let's take Jalen Hurts, for example, his over 255.5 passing yards on FanDuel could be heavily juiced on the over, could be minus 140 to go over. That means that that outcome is more likely to happen than Jalen Hurts to go under his passing yards. So if I want to get a $100 return over on FanDuel and I'm playing it at minus 140 odds, I need to put $140 down to get $100 back. That's essentially what that American odd means. And again, if I'm taking the under, because that probability is less likely to happen, if let's say it's at plus 110 odds, if I put $100 down, I get a $110 return because that outcome isn't as likely as Jalen Hurts going over his passing yards line. And this is where the DGF correlation tool comes into play. Guys, our correlation tool, what it does is it finds the most correlated combo props based on the individual percent odds to hit for these player props. Now, what we'll do here to simplify for our users is we literally give them full game slips. All they need to do is go onto our website, dgfantasy.com slash correlation. They can go to whatever sports book they want to look, whatever sport, whatever game they can click off. It doesn't matter. We have a bunch of different DFS apps that we have on here as well. And if they're only playing on underdog, if they're only playing on prize picks, all they would do is just come to our website, click that drop down box, and they will have the highest correlated slip possible given the player props on that specific DFS app. 
Now, because some individual players are more correlated than others, right? So two, two players could be more correlated than two other players. Our software combs through thousands and thousands of different combinations to give you guys the most profitable correlated combinations of props. Now, I say that because you might have an underdog slip and a prize pick slip for the same exact game, right? We have one here for the Eagles and Cowboys. And these two slips could be completely different. And that's because prize picks and underdog both set their boards and their player prop lines independently. So you could have CeeDee Lamb on UD, his over under for pass or receiving yards could be set to 85 and a half, but on prize picks could be set to 88 and a half. So that is going to change the outcome of the slip that we recommend through our correlation tool. Now enough talk, let's actually jump into the rest of our slip. We already have Dak over two passing touchdowns. We have Jalen Hurts over 255 and a half passing yards. So my assumption here is that we're gonna have a lot of over receiving yards, over a lot of receptions, or over a lot of receiving targets. Because obviously if both guys are gonna go out and have good passing games, their wide receivers are going to directly benefit off of the quarterbacks playing well. Obviously, especially their main targets. So this is going to be our prize picks correlation slip from the Eagles and Cowboys game. Again, we have Dak over two passing touchdowns. We have Jalen Hurts over 255 and a half passing yards. We got CeeDee Lamb over 10 and a half receiving targets. We have Brandon Cooks over five receiving targets. Devonta Smith over seven receiving targets. And last but not least, we have AJ Brown over nine and a half receiving targets. So yes, the studs for those quarterbacks obviously are going to benefit if the quarterbacks have good games. If the quarterbacks are throwing for 40 plus attempts on each side, their main beneficiaries, their number ones and twos and three targets that they have to throw to are obviously going to consume a lot of those targets through the air. So that is what we're seeing here with this correlation slip over on prize picks. And again, this is a six flex slip over on prize picks, guys. We get a 25 times payout entering this on prize picks. So I want to show you guys an example of the different payouts that we get building out these types of correlation slips over on a fixed payout platform like prize picks opposed to FanDuel. Now with this specific slip, we have four receiving target player, player props, which aren't actually offered over on FanDuel. So what I'm going to do here is also show you guys the underdog slip. Now, again, we're going to have a slight twist, but here we have the UD slip over on uh, for the Eagles Cowboys game over on underdog. This is a five pick uninsured slip. So if we go to hundred dollars down, we get a 20 times return. We get $2,000 down. We make $1,900 in profit. So again, we have Dak over two passing touchdowns. We have Jalen Hurts over 255 and a half passing yards, same two props. But now we have CeeDee Lamb over receiving yards at 90.5. We have AJ Brown over receiving yards at 77.5. And then we have, last but not least, we get Devonta Smith over seven receiving targets. So what I'm gonna do over on FanDuel, just to kind of show you somewhat of a comparison in the different payout we get over on a fixed payout platform opposed to a sports book like FanDuel in a same game parlay when we're trying to correlate these slips. We see here, and I even put Dak Prescott over two and a half passing touchdowns, because as you guys can see, if we go over to passing props, right now his over under is set to two and a half with heavy, heavy, heavy juice on the under. But if we go to his alternate line for his passing touchdowns, his over two and a half, or his over two passing touchdowns is minus 265. And again, this is a one-sided line. There's no actually under associated to this player prop, so they can kind of put this on their board wherever they want with as much juice as they want. So what I did here to even show you how much of a better payout we're getting over an underdog opposed to FanDuel is I put Dak over two and a half passing touchdowns at heavy, uh, at, at, excuse me, heavy juice on the under. So we're getting a plus 162 return for him to go over, right? And over on UD for him or for us to actually cash it out, he needs to get us three touchdowns. If he finishes at two, we obviously get a push. So depending on the rest of our slip, we still get paid out. But what I did here also is because they do not have uh, targets, I put in Devonta Smith over receiving yards. But we have Jalen Hurts over 248 and a half receiving yards. So we're get our passing yards. We're getting a better number on FanDuel by seven yards. That's okay. We got Dak over two and a half passing touchdowns. So again, plus 162 odds. That's going to juice this plus 1382. So if I were to actually take this, right? If I switch this Dak from plus two and a half at plus 162, to his alt line over two plus passing touchdowns. I mean, you guys are gonna see the difference in payout. So I wanna just try to make this as realistic as possible. I added in AJ Brown over 80 and a half passing, uh, receiving yards. And again, we're getting a better number over on underdog at 77 and a half. I added in CD Lamb over 92 and a half receiving yards. We're getting a better number over on UD at 90.5. And again, I just threw in Devonta Smith 
were recommending his over receiving targets, but obviously FanDuel doesn't have it. So I threw in his receiving yards. But guys, we're getting this at plus 1382 odds. That means if I throw $100 on this slip, I get 1382 and change back. I'm losing out on $600, $700 by taking this on FanDuel in a same game parlay opposed to playing this over on underdog on a fixed payout platform. It is night and day. The return that we see playing over there on prize picks UD opposed to FanDuel, DraftKings, etc. These traditional sports books that offer you uh, these same game parlay slips. So if you guys are playing same game parlays and you have those types of player props over on a fixed payout platform, please stop. Immediately move some of your money over to prize picks UD. Start entering correlated slips over there. You get a way better return again. $100 $100 gets me $13.82. I can enter the same exact slip, obviously substituting Devonta Smith receiving yards. I mean, I could even put his receiving yards in our UD slip. We're still going to get $100, or we're still going to put $100 down to get $2,000 in return. Absolutely no brainer. Guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I gave you two, two correlated slips directly off the correlation tool. And just to let you guys know, if you're a $5 unit better and you placed every single slip recommended from the correlation tool, seeing as we're up 571 units, you'd be up over $2,800 in profit. So this thing legitimately pays for itself week in and week out. NFL is by far the highest correlated uh, sport that we have uh, just in general and that you can actually get away with over on these fixed payout platforms. So NFL has been a beast. Hopefully one of these two slips hits for us tonight. Again, the prize pick slip is going to be CeeDee Lamb over 10 and a half receiving targets. Dak Prescott over two passing touchdowns. Brandon Cooks over five receiving targets. Jalen Hurts over 255.5 passing yards. Devonta Smith over seven targets. And A.J. Brown over nine and a half targets. UD slip, it's going to be somewhat the same. A little bit of a different variation. Dak over two passing touchdowns. CeeDee Lamb over 90.5 receiving yards. Jalen Hurts over 255.5 passing yards. Devonta Smith over seven targets. And A.J. Brown over 77 and a half receiving yards. Guys, if you're going to be telling the slip, go ahead, smash that like button, turn on that notification bell. And also, if this is your first time stumbling upon the channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But I love you guys. Hopefully, we cash one of these. If you guys want to get signed up with Correlation Tool, you can go to ggfantasy.com slash correlation. But I'll catch you guys on the next video. And as always, let's cash.